Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of Model 2 GAT Math. Now, we've covered in the first part the first 13 questions, so if you did not see that, refer back to that video, it will help, and you will, you don't need to, so if you just want to stick around, see, see us solving some questions, we can go right ahead. Right, so... The next questions are questions 14 to 15 to 16, which are related to the following material, let's just say. We have a table over here and a graph. So we can say, of course, that they are related, right? Years 2012, 13, 14, 15, we can see them plotted over here. All right, so let's see question 14. Or let's read this first. The chart represents the percentage of joining boys and girls for a national organiza organization of youth and the table represents the total number of joined boys and girls in the given years. All right. In question 14 is asking, what is the number of girls that joined in the year 2014? Now, this is just uh, this is just free questions, right? I, I, I'm not I don't know why I'm covering them, but. It's good to cover them because they might show up and it's good to know really what to do. Just solve them as fast as you can, move on, right? So, all right, 2014, you have 2,000 people. And if you look here, girls were 30% of that, all right? So, yeah, so it's 30% of 2,000 because we got to remember that 2,000 is the total. Okay, then what else can we do? use in that information. So how do we get 30% of 2,000? Here's my way. What is 10% of 2,000? That is 200. 200 multiplied by 3, that is 600, which is choice B. So this is called, I think it's called the 10%, I mean, option, because it's not really a rule, but it's a way of just cheating the system, basically. All right, I, I, I don't know what's 30% of something, I'll take 10% and multiply that by 3. It's the same thing. Whenever you see this, think of that. Or if you can just know what 30% is, then go right ahead. All right. And number 15 is asking, what is the number of boys that joined in 2013? So 2000, I mean, yeah, 13. So, okay, make sure you don't get that wrong. 2013, boys, boys were 60%. By the way, sorry for this terrible graph, but I did my best. <laughs> All right, so it was 60%. In 2013 had a thousand so we don't need to do that because we don't need to do the whole 10% thing because it's 1000 so 60 is just 600 again <laughs> so the answer of that is going to be B now number 16 is asking in which year the number of boys of girls sorry that joined the youth organization was more than the number of boys this is a completely free question. All you have to do is look. And oh my god. I don't know what happened here. But yeah. <laughs> girls joined a lot more. In 2015. And those are the questions. Yeah. Those are the questions. We're going to move on. Alright. Question 17. Says. If the mean of side lengths of a triangle is 8 centimeters. Then what is the perimeter of the triangle? All right, so you have to know what mean is. And mean, so like the mean, mode, and range, you got to remember them. Mean means average. And how do you calculate the average? Well, you do that by adding the number, the, the, the things being added together. Like you add them, then they're, they're, you add them all together, and then divide it by the number of things being added. So... We're going we're gonna to see what that means right now in this example. I don't know why I made it overcomplicated, but, but yeah. <laughs> so let's see. What is the perimeter of the triangle? It has The mean of its side lengths are 8. So a triangle has three side lengths. Let's say A, B, and C. And so that is going to be divided by 3. Why 3? Because we have 1, 2, 3 figures being added. So they're going to be divided by 3. And uh, it's saying what is the perimeter, all right? So this equals 8. So then how do you find the side lengths? Because really, we don't need to find them. All we need to know is what, you know, the perimeter of a triangle is 
just adding all of its side lengths. So if you see this, you know that it's very easy to get this answer here. To get this answer, you're going to multiply 3 by 8. And A plus B plus C will equal 24. And that is exactly what the perimeter is. So that is going to be answer C. Now, this looks really easy. But if you didn't know what the, what, the av what the mean is or the average, you wouldn't have been able to do it. If you didn't know what the parameter of a triangle is, you wouldn't have been able to do it. So make sure you know your stuff. It's going to make your life a lot easier. All right. Question number 18 is asking, if the ratio between the measures of two adjacent and supplementary angles is 1 to 2, then the measure of the smaller angle is dot dot dot. So it's saying the measure of two supplementary. I can kind of disregard adjacent because uh, really what you need is to know that they're supplementary. Supplementary, whenever you hear this word, all right, think of the number 180. Why? Because it's just saying that two numbers equal 180. That's what supplementary means. So it's asking if the ratio is 1 to 2. So if, it, this, if the ratio of A to B is equals to 1 to 2. So what is going to be the, the smaller length? And this is pretty easy to find. Why? Because that means that B is double A, right? All right, so you got to think, what two numbers? So, so basically, it's going to look like this. 2A plus A is equals to 180. This is what it's, it's going to look like. And you don't need to do all of that if you just know what supplementary means. And then you look at the choices real quick. You get 150. This is not going to be the smaller angle, right? They're asking for the smaller angle. So you got to keep that in mind. It's not going to be that because if you double to 150, you're not going to get 180. Same thing with 120. If you double 120, you're not going to get uh, 180. You're going to get 240. How about 60? If you double 60, you get 120. And if you add that to 60, you get 180. What does that mean? So if I have 60, wait, all right. If I have 60 over here, and this is going to be 2A, so that's going to be 120, that gives you 180. So the answer is 60. And as you can see, all you needed to do here is know what supplementary means, understand what the question is asking for, I mean, if you if you still couldn't make it up, I mean, if you wrote this, you would have gotten it instantly because, yeah, because <laughs> at that point, at this point, you're going to just solve. So that's how you find you find really any of these questions. These are almost free questions. You don't get a lot of them in the Qudrat, depending on when you're taking it and where. So let's hope that you always get your easy, the easiest questions. <laughs> All right. Question 19 asks. If the opposite figure consists of squares that are equal in area, find the perimeter of the figure if its area is 150. That is a lot of information, but if you can put it all together, you are going to solve it instantly. So it consists of squares that are equal on area. All right, this is, an, this is your first given. This is a fact. All right, find the perimeter of the figure. So this is a question. And again, I sometimes highlight the question. Just to remember, perimeter of the figure, that's what I'm looking for. If its area is 150. So the area of the whole thing, this whole shape, which actually will become a cube if you fold it on, it, on itself in a certain way, it's 150. And since the squares are all equal in area, you can just count the number of squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and divide that, or, I mean... Divide 150 by that because then you're going to get the area of each square. And now why do we want to do that? Well, because we want to get the perimeter of the figure. And to get the perimeter of the figure, we need the external side lengths. We need, we need all of these side lengths. And if we can get them, and, and we can get them from the area of each square. How? Well, let me show you. 6 divided by 150. How many 6 can fit into 15? 2. 2 by 6 is 12. Minus each other, that's 3. Bring down 0. How many such and such? 5. 5 by 60 is 30. So that's going to be 0. So we have 25. So what does that mean? That means that each square has the area of 25. And let's, let's make sure 
you guys remember that, so I'll put it here. Each square has the area of 25. Now, what does that mean? What does that give us about, about what, what information does that give us about the external side length? Well, that means that each side length is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. So this is going to be 5. It's going to be 5. Why? Because s squared, which is the area, is equals to 25. So we're going to get 5, 5, 5 on each of these side lengths. Now, the biggest mistake you can do here is count these side lengths on the inside. You got to remember, we are looking for the perimeter of the figure. And that only means external, external side lengths. So let's count how many sides do we have and multiply that by 5 to just to make life easier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. See, I almost did it. I almost counted this one. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're going to multiply that by 5. 5 by 4, that's 20. 5 by 1, that is 5. Plus 2, that is 70. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the area of the or the perimeter, sorry, <laughs> of the figure. All right, now we got number 20. The least number formed by three digits and divisible by two, three, and five all together is which one of these? Now, any number that's asking you for divisible by such and such, right, by any number of these, you got to remember divisibility rules. You got to look them up if you forgot them because... I personally forgot them while doing the exam. I don't know if that's how you spell divisibility, but divisibility rules, they are very important. Look them up if you don't know them. And even if you do know them, just make sure that you know them well. So how are we going to go on about doing this? We've got a hundred. So what are divisibility rules for two, three, and five? For three, it can be, you know, uh, okay, so for three, you add the numbers all together. So for example, we take 100, right? If you want to know if it's divisible by 3 or not, we take each number on its own, 1, 0, and the other 0, and we add them together. So 1 plus 0 plus 0, right? And then that number, which is 1, if it's divisible by 3, then the whole number, so 100, is divisible by 3. Same thing when you do here, we can do it with, with 105. 1 plus 0 plus 5. That will give you 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So, yeah, that's how you do it. So, it, so, so 105 is divisible by 3. That's how you do it. So, let's see what we can do here. Now, you don't need to do this for each of the choices because then it's going to take a long time. But you can just eye it because, num because the number is like 5. It's just 5 and 0. If the number ends with 5 and 0 or 0, sorry, if it ends with 5 or 0, it is divisible by 5. So all of them end by f with, with 5 and 0. So we've covered that number. So all of them are divisible by that. Now we just start a process of elimination. Okay, now 3. So the first one is divisible by 3. Second one is divisible by 3. Third one is divisible by 3 because it's 1 plus 2 plus 0. That's 3. Third one, also divisible by 3. All right, so then the whole difference is going to be in 2. And you got to remember, uh, so yeah, the whole difference is going to be divisible by 2. So 100 is divisible by 2 as well. 105, not really. And 120, that is also divisible by 2. 150, divisible by 2. So where are we stuck here? You get... What do we do in this scenario? You get the least number, the least one, and that would be 120. It's less than 150. And that's how you get it. Question number 20, the answer is C. Moving on to question 21. The speed of a car is 120 kilometers per hour in the first three hours. Then the speed of the same car becomes 80 kilometers per hour in the fourth hour. What is the speed or the car's speed rate? So one thing I want you all to know, rate equals average 
and average equals mean. These all mean the same thing. All right. Now, why am I highlighting this? Because we've covered mean a little bit ago. So if you remember that, you're just going to use it and be able to solve this question very easily. All right. So the speed of a car is 120 kilometers in the first hour three hours and then it became 80 right so that's just going to be because we're trying to calculate the average 120 plus 120 plus 120 plus 80 all of that over four why four because we have one two three four numbers all right now now this becomes easily easily calculable so 120 plus 120 you can just simplify that by 120 multiplied by three 3 by 0, 0, 3 by 2, 6, 3 by 1, 3. We get 360. All right? And then we're going to add that. So basically, what we have right now is this. Oh, wait. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. What we have right now is this plus 80. So 360 plus 80. Add 360 and 80. 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 8, and then 4, you know, 1 plus 1, 4, there we go, 440 is being divided by 4, right? So we're still doing this over here, we added all of the top part, now it's time for the second part, so we get 440 divided by 4, wow, that is a huge 4. There we go. How many fours fit into four? One. It's just simple long division. Another one. Zero. And then since it's the last zero, you're not going to drop it down. You're going to take it right up. So it's 110. That would be your answer. 110. Now, what I really, really want you to remember from this question. Mean equals rate rate equals average they are all the same all right question number 22 let's choose a new color we're going to take red in the opposite figure the ratio between the area of the shaded parts to the area of the whole circle they say of the circle but i just know that that's what they're going to ask <laughs> is what one look at this and you can already see that it's half c now I'm just going to spend this time explaining why. As you can see here, this is these are the shaded areas, all right? And this is the whole circle. So you're going to take the shaded areas and divide it by the whole circle to understand what's the ratio. But there's one problem. They just made it look weird, but if you really look at it, it's just half. <laughs> it's just half of the circle. That's really it. Th th these are the shaded parts, right? And that's the whole, and to the whole circle, the shaded parts only take half of it. And that's going to be C. And we have come to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you need any help with literally anything, check the description. There, there lies my email. And maybe I will put some other social media. Maybe. But... My email is there if you need anything and if you want to just literally, if you just want to talk, <laughs> just email me, send me questions, whatever it is. Also in the description, I have linked my PayPal. If you would like to support this channel, if you, want, if you like what I'm doing and you want to show some love, you want to show some support, I would really appreciate it. And hopefully I can keep these videos ad free. I want you guys to enjoy them and they are really long videos so thank you for watching them and coming to the end of it. You are going to do great. We believe in you and guys remember this is a, a communal cause. We are doing this all for each other right? So if you have any better information, if you have any resources, check the um, comments section. Help some people out. Get some ajur. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been your host Ali. الجين and الله يوفقكم جميعا